Habari zenu wazalendo. Welcome to this episode on the case for building a new nation. In the last episode we looked at the state of Kenya today as I see it. In this episode we will delve into how the philosophy of Bhutu can revolutionize governance in this country. So please join us as we explore a new paradigm on leadership and administration grounded in this powerful profound African wisdom and philosophy. Utu or Ubuntu, meaning I am because we are, presents a powerful framework for governance. It encourages leaders to view themselves as part of the community rather than removed from it, serving not for personal gain but for the collective well-being of all. Let's try and imagine political leaders who embody Utu. These leaders would prioritize transparency, integrity, accountability, and the people's interests. Their decision-making would be inclusive, would consider the impact of their decisions, would consider the impact of governance policies and programs on every segment of society. Now, corruption has been a major, major challenge in this country, in Kenya for a while. The philosophy of Vutu inspires a governance model where integrity and ethical behavior are the core. It's about creating systems that reward honesty and penalize corruption effectively. In a neutral inspired government, there would be minimal corruption and everyone's welfare would be well and adequately cared for. Utu fosters participatory governance. This approach involves citizens in all policy making, assuring their voices are heard and their needs are addressed. It's a shift from the current top-down messianic governance model that we have experienced across the world and in Africa to a more collaborative and inclusive model as envisioned in our constitution. In a nation as diverse as Kenya, the auto philosophy can be a great unifying force because it promotes respect for diversity and encourages leaders to work towards bridging ethnic, cultural, regional divides and fostering a sense of national unity while celebrating what is good in our various and unique identities. In the envisioned Utu governance system, economic policies guided by Utu prioritize sustainable development and equitable distribution of resources. They aim to uplift the marginalized and create opportunities for all, ensuring that economic growth benefits the entire society, not just a few. Societal welfare policies inspire Utu's focus on community well-being. This means ensuring access to healthcare, education, and social services, especially for the most vulnerable in the society. It's about building a safety net that uplifts and supports every member of society. Again, not just a few. The Utu philosophy also extends to environmental stewardship. Imagine a system of governance with Utu philosophy at the core that respects and protects the natural world and lives in harmony with nature based on the understanding that our well-being as humanity is interconnected with the health of our environment, our ecosystem, and Mother Earth. I put it to you that embracing Utu in governance can transform Kenya creating a nation where leaders serve with integrity and compassion and where policies are inclusive and equitable and where every citizen feels valued and part of a greater whole and wants to contribute. This, in my view, is the path to a caring, prosperous, unified Kenya nation guided by the gospel and wisdom of Utu. In the next episode, we will examine how Utu can revolutionize our society. Till then, thank you for listening and see you in the next video. Asante.